Hey, you welcome to Jack Ministry. I hope you're doing well. Please subscribe my videos and so that you can be getting updates, whatever or whenever I put a new video. Uh, today, just real quick, I want to share with you something I call "What is that in your hand?" As we are about to enter into a new man, I want to I want to ask you, what is it really that in your hand? Of course, we find a scripture from the book of Exodus, chapter four, verse two to verse five. It's about Moses. And Moses have an encounter with the Lord in the burning bush. The Bible said that God asked Moses, Moses, what is that in your hand? And Moses said, it is a rod. What is a rod? If you remembered what your science teacher was teaching you, a rod is a non-living thing. Filipinos will say, walang buhay. There is no life in it. He threw it down and it became a snake. And when he threw it down, when it became a snake, of course, snake is a living thing. Merong buhay, there's life in it. And kwawomu, what I say? And so when he threw it down, that it became a snake. Then it's a living thing. Okay, what this, what does it mean? It means that whatever that we are holding in our hand, there's no life. But when we throw it down to the Lord, life will come to it. And so what is that in your hand? Now, real quick. The rod that Moses was holding represents three things. The same also, whatever you are holding represents three things. The first one, it represents Moses' identity. What is Moses' identity? The rod shows his identity as a shepherd. So whatever identity that you have, if you will give your identity to the Lord, then the Lord will make life come out of it. The second one represents Moses' income. Because as a shepherd, that is where he got his money or his income from. The same also that whatever income that you have, your finances, so long as you are holding on to your finances, I believe me you, you are going nowhere. But when you will release it to the Lord, the Lord will make life come out of it. Then finally, it represents Moses' influence because it's the rod that he uses to control the sheep, right? Go here, stay here, move on. The same also. Your influence will come when you give your identity to Christ, when you give your income to the Lord, then you are going to experience powerful influence. Whatever influence you have, you hold it, no, give it to the Lord, yes then you are going to experience life coming out of it i would like to pray with you whatever you are going through whatever challenges you are in i want you to be like moses and god is asking what is that in your hand the hand of michael jordan with a basketball or in this modern world the hand of lebron james with a basketball is million and billions of dollars with the golf uh, stick of Tiger Wood, millions of dollars with the gloves of Manny Pacquiao, the Pac Man, my man, millions and billions of dollars. What is that in your hand, Father? I pray in the name of Jesus, thank you for the life of the one watching me right now. Whatever the identity, the income. And the influence i pray oh lord god that is in their hand release your divine power in them but i pray that they will release it unto you so that you can do so in jesus name i pray amen thank you thank you very much for watching jack ministry please as i said subscribe it and when you subscribe it you can get our updates new month is coming just believe god to enter whatever that is left in this month may you receive it remember the month of september is a month of burden may you birth every blessing that you need in jesus name i love you god bless you